Okay, so I'm going to show how the uh, how we solve the various problems with the Magic 8-Ball app. I've saved my template as Magic 8-Ball V2 for version 2. First thing I'm going to do is kind of clean up the interface a little. Instead of aligning the left, I'm going to align the whole screen to the center. And I'm going to similarly align the text in these labels in the center, both for the question label and the answer label. First major thing we're going to do is we're going to use a list picker to provide a menu for how we want the feedback to occur for the user. So I've added my list picker there. I'm going to change the text on it to feedback menu. And then I'm going to give the list picker some choices. And the first choice is speak and the second choice is sound. So these are the menu items that will appear when you click on that list picker item. So that takes care of our user interface for the list picker. Let's now go over to the blocks editor. The list picker has a after picking event handler. So after the user selects from the menu, the selection that the user makes is stored in a variable called list picker selection right here. So the list the user will pick either speak or sound. So what should we do with that selection that the users made? Well we're going to need a global variable here. I'm going to initialize a global variable and I'm going to just call it feedback. Initially I'm going to just set it to the empty string. After the user picks their choice of speak or sound I'm going to set that variable to their choice. I'm going to set their choice to whatever selection they've made. And similarly, I'm also going to change the text on the list picker to, to display their current feedback choice. So I'm going to set the list picker text also to that choice. So that takes care of that part. Let's demo this part right now. Okay, as you can see, I've got the app running now on my device and I tap feedback menu and I get a choice between speak and sound. Let me choose speak and now the variable has been set to speak, this variable here, and you can see that the text on the list picker has also been changed to speak. All right, so now let's make use of this new information we have. Instead of doing both speaking and playing the sound, we'll do one or the other depending on the value of the feedback variable. So I need an if else statement for that. I'm going to put it right in here. If, and I'm going to use its mutator to add an else clause or an else slot to that. If one condition holds, I'm going to, I'm going to speak the result. Otherwise, I'm going to play a sound. Okay, and now what condition do we want? Well, we want to know whether the value of this variable here, feedback variable, equals the word speak or not. I'm going to get some text here. Does, and I have to make sure I spell this correctly. I'm going to compare two texts, the text in the feedback variable. And that, I'm, for that, I'm going to use a getter block and the word speak. Okay, if, if the feedback equals speak, I'm going to speak the result. Otherwise, I'm going to play it. So let's try that now. Okay, I'm going to shake my device. Not likely. All right, so in that case, it spoke the result. And let me change the feedback to sound. And now I'll shake it. And as you heard there, it didn't speak it. It just did the ka-ching sound. So that's the first part of our enhancements. The next part was to add a three-way choice here between speaking the sound and remaining silent. For that, I'm going to go back to the designer and I'm going to add a third element here, silent. And I'm going to go back to my blocks. And now I've got to change this because if it equals speak, if feedback equals speak, we'll do this. Otherwise, we'll do that. So we don't want just these two. We want to add a third option. And the third option is going to be the else if option. And in this case, I'm going to have to check for a second condition. Well, let's check a second condition. And I could say if it equals sound, then I could play the sound. All right. In, in this case, I, I don't really need the else clause because if it doesn't equal speak and it doesn't equal sound, it will do nothing. So I can get rid of the else clause in this case. I'll just take it out of there and I could leave the block in this shape. 
So let's review. If the feedback choice is speak, it will speak the prediction. Otherwise, if it's sound, it will play a sound. Otherwise, it won't do anything. It'll just display the answer. So let's test that option now. And I'm going to change my choice to silent. And when I shake it, I see a result, but I don't hear anything. So now I'm going to change it to sound. When I shake it, I hear the ka-ching. I'm going to change it to speak. When I shake it, I hear it, it speak the result. Okay? okay? The last thing I'm going to show you is how to use the speech recognizer component to improve this app, to actually have the app require you to ask a question before giving the answer when you shake it. So I'm going to add a speech recognizer. As you see, it has no properties at all. And I'm going to go over to, therefore, go over to the Blocks Editor, and we'll see what we can do with it. So basically, we can call its get text method when the app, when the device is shaken. And the other thing we can do is we can get whatever text it recognized, uh, whatever it heard, after it gets the text. So we can implement this event handler. So what we want to do here is we want to move the stuff inside the shaking here to the speech recognizer after getting text. So we only want to make the prediction after the user has spoken their question. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all of this out of here and put it into here. This shouldn't occur until after the user has spoken their question and we've recognized it. And here I'm going to simply call the speech recognizer. So when you shake the device now, it'll bring up the speech recognizer, which will ask you to say something. And after you've said something, it will take what you've said and make a prediction. So let's see how this works now. OK, I'm going to select the speak option this time. And now when I shake the device, you should see the speech recognizer come up. Is it a nice day? Not likely. OK, let me try it again. Is this app fun? No way. Oh, come on. Is this app fun? It is certain. All right. There you go. So that's the solution to the projects for the Magic 8-Ball app.